Hi everyone, uh, just a little video about uh, a tips uh, that I recently uh, used on, uh, on one of my uh, projects and I thought this might be useful for anyone uh, who are uh, facing this, um, this situation. So I, I knew that since a few years I'm using also the UV uh, data, the UV context uh, in order to uh, do some selection into the modeling um, uh, area. So for example here I have a mesh uh, that is uh, built for uh, game content and for some reason uh, some of the parts are um, triangulated and I want to clean those up uh, to get back to uh, just quads for further editing and uh, more easy um, editing of it. So what I suggest to you is in this situation, first uh, you uh, select the numbers of polygons that are just triangle, right? And hide the rest. So first, this way you can isolate and remove some of the some of those elements in order to select them more easily. Okay. So I will just remove those and make the selection of only those steps that have no uh, material on it. So I cannot select those by material but this way it will be fast enough so here we have selected those okay we hide the rest and just uh, to uh, show you all of those uh, may have the same uvs and so if i show the uvs right they are all the same all packed uh, into a bigger uh, UV map, but uh, some of them are on the side. Probably I didn't select those. There are those here, well, but we we will don't care about those just for the purpose of the video. Uh, let me do this quick. So I have a selection of UV islands. What I will do in order to select them and do the cleanup, I will um, keep the proportion of the UVs and use the fit command to uh, fit them um, into the entire uh, UV um, layout, UV area. So I do this, not with this, this option. Uh, I thought I was not with the good one. Okay, so that's the fit with pair UV islands. So this way, they're all, they are all overlapping, right? But now you are able to select some edges so here I will select those that have been triangulated, right? Um, and I will do my selection really quick on multiple elements at a time because I'm using the UV space for this. So it's really, really simple, but it can be really powerful when you are dealing with uh, the timing and having to clean up some, some of those elements. Of course, if you have no UVs, you couldn't do this or you have to deploy them and then try to match them. But in this case, it's working. So if you are getting some files from um, from GrabCAD or anything that have some resources, you just have to select those um, edges right like this and use Control Delete and you can remove all the um, all the edges and preserving the shape even if that's opened uh, shapes right so yeah that's really simple and so now we have a cleaned uh, cleaned up uh, shape that is all quads or most of them or I mean that's more much more cleaner than uh, before and you can then get back this move this on the side uh, and repack everything and everything will be okay so yeah this is a quick tip uh, for you i hope you enjoyed this video and i will try to make some more like this for uh, improving your workflow on a daily basis see you bye bye